My aunts wrote to my mammy's mother to send money for the tickets. We must have been the only Irish family in history to be saying goodbye to the Statue of Liberty instead of hello. We were going back to Ireland where there was no work and people were dying of the starvation and the damp. It made no sense to me. But what did I know? I was only five going on six. Seconds in the laboratories, and I'm off to see the IRA man for me money. Francis, you can call Whitfield Company. I think he can help you. And when I be needing them to help me carry all that money? <laughs> all right, Frankie, you can go with your pal. Maliki. Maliki, don't go to the laboratory there, son. I right. can't stop. Are you not over there? Coming out. Flying column during the troubles. And the price in my head. Had to be smuggled to America. There's no record of your service here. None. I have a wife and four children. I'm raising my sons to love Ireland. Look. Please. We have nothing. I'm sorry. We can't be handing out money to every man who wanders in here saying he did his bit for Ireland. I'll look into your claim. I'll let you know what turns up. Here's money for the bus back into the city. Couldn't add to that to make the price of a pint, could you? It's the drink you're after, is it? <sighs> One pint is hardly a drink. You make that child walk back into Dublin because you're after a pint. Remember this, Francis. This is a new Ireland. We men, we chairs, we eat bits of paper. I think you should leave. Declan, the door. Don't bother coming back. This is the Ireland I died for, is it? Come on, Frankie. Free my arse. We're not handing out money to support the Guinness family. <laughs> 